Hello boys and girls and welcome. Today is a very important day. Today we will be going over some digital rules of the road. We all know that driving a car is a big responsibility. But did you know that using technology is also a big responsibility? And since using technology is such a big responsibility and such an awesome privilege, we want to make sure you use it safely and wisely. These rules of the road will help you stay safe and out of trouble as you're navigating the technology superhighway using your device at home and at school. They will also help you become respectful and responsible digital citizens. As we go through each rule, I want you to think about why each one is important to follow. Rule number one, always use two clean hands to carry your device. Remember to close the lid before you carry it. Always use your device on a flat surface. And remember to stay seated while using your device unless your teacher has asked you to move. Rule number two, keep all food and drink away from your device. Let's keep water bottles on the floor when our devices are in use. Rule number three, take care of your device. Remember, it's your responsibility. That means only use your fingers on the screen and keyboard. Do not remove your protective device cover. If your device is lost or stolen, you need to notify your teacher immediately. And don't let anyone else use your device. It's your responsibility. Rule number four, be a responsible digital citizen. A digital citizen is just a fancy word that means being a good person online. Don't do anything online that you wouldn't do in real life. Remember to follow the acceptable use policy and the student pledge you signed at the beginning of the school year. Don't take, forward, or view inappropriate content, videos, or photos. Don't forward, take or view images of someone without their knowledge and don't impersonate or sign in as anyone else on any device. Rule number five, stay on task. That means you always follow your teacher's directions exactly. That means you only go to sites approved by your teacher, you don't change any settings or codes, print or download without permission, and you don't change your device background or screensaver without teacher permission. There are two ears on this page, and that is because you need to listen twice as much as you talk while you're using your device. You need to listen to what your teacher is asking you to do and only do what she or he is asking. Rule number six, be very careful when plugging or unplugging your device, whether you're plugging it into the cart or whether you're plugging it into the socket at home or at school. Remember, the charging ports and cords can be very sensitive, so you have to be gentle. Rule number seven, keep your device clean. This means don't write on, decorate, or add stickers to your device. This device is school property. We are just borrowing these devices. So we want to remember not to remove any labels that are already on our device or to draw on those labels who have been put on by the tech department. We also want to remember not to remove the protective cover and to only use a clean, soft cloth to clean our devices. Rule number eight, remember your device is a tool and not a toy. This means that your device is given to you to do work on, not to play with. However, if you get your work done, you may have a chance to do some fun things that are approved by your teacher. Rule number nine, 
Remember, we track you. The people at the district office know exactly what you are doing at your device at all times. So don't do anything inappropriate. Don't attempt to delete your history because you can't delete it. Somebody can always see where you have gone. And remember, no web surfing or playing games unless you have permission from your teacher. And the last and most important rule is rule number 10. If something goes wrong on your device, you need to close your lid and notify your teacher immediately. Just raise your hand and wait patiently for your teacher to help you. Remember, there are lots of you and there's only one teacher in the room, so you have to be patient and wait for him or her to get to you. And of course, I know we're not going to have this problem, but using technology is a privilege. That means it's not a have to. And the things about privilege, the thing about a privilege that you need to remember is that if you don't follow the rules and do what you're supposed to do, a privilege can be taken away. There are consequences for doing things you're not supposed to do. So if you engage in unacceptable behavior and or fail to use your device responsibly, you will lose the privilege to use your device for an extended period of time as determined by the principal and the IT department. So don't let your device end up in device jail. That means that it'll be locked away in your classroom and you won't be allowed to use it until your punishment is up. But I know we won't have that problem out of any of our students. Now it's time to see what you've learned. You're going to click to the right on the Kahoot logo to play the Device Do's and Don'ts Kahoot review game. In this game, you're going to look at each scenario and decide whether it is a do or a don't. You're going to click to play, and when it asks you to put in your game nickname, you're going to use your first name and your last initial. I hope you've learned a lot from this session. I'm excited to see what you know. Thanks.